I'm still recording. Shit. Okay. So, let's talk about... Oh, I got my mic on and everything. What do you think about this angle on a shot? It doesn't look too bad. I've got my new shelf up over my head here. I have my Mac Pro trash can in view here. I've got the soft, warm glow of a lamp back here. Hopefully, you can see my face and, of course, my screen. And... Um, a little while ago, I was doing a review, well, a setup video on the Unify, the Ubiquity Unify Dream Machine Pro, which is up over my shoulder over here. I took a couple of glamour slow motion things that I'll intertwine here in a little bit. And what we're looking at here is the dashboard for that Unify Dream Machine Pro. Uh, what I have down here on the floor is the Unified Dream Machine, which has a wireless built into it. It has four LAN ports on the back, high-speed LAN ports, a single wide area network port coming in, and built-in power supply. So there's no brick, you just have a power cord that plugs into the back of that, and that's what it looks like. This is a rock-solid little box, if you could call this chiclet um, Apple speaker wannabe, uh, oh, and there's a power button on the bottom here, uh, a box. This thing really does a good job of uh, managing a home network in one felt swoop, and the dashboard is exactly similar to the UDM Pro that you see on my screen here. Uh, everything works great. It has intrusion detection system and it has intrusion protection system which is based on a map under threat management and it will tell you what the attempts are by geolocation gives in a map. You can click on the country that you want to block uh, wholly and block that country right in the interface on this box. So uh, if you are a uh, medium-sized house, small to medium-sized household, this Ubiquity Dream Machine is a great way to go as opposed to a Nighthawk router or uh, one of the other style routers that have all the wings and antennas and everything bouncing off of it. This really does a good job of uh, maintaining the whole network. and. Uh, you have the ability to go in and see a dashboard, and this is one that I built. It's called Network AI, which is what I named it. And it basically just gives me um, port usage, internet connection speeds up and down, the longest client uptime, most active clients, routing utilization, that sort of thing. And then you can drill down into statistics, the map again, device, oh, map, let's look at map. Map is generally just like, you know, showing you what's on the network at any given time. Uh, devices are, or I'm sorry, clients are the devices that are on your network. The clients that are sharing that, that internet connection. And, uh, of course, this is the dashboard for my pro UDM. Um, but... Pretty much, it identified everything and gave me those nice pictures automatically. And then I went in and gave it, gave each one an alias uh, to tell me where that was located on the uh, network. Uh, you have devices. With the UDM Pro, you have to buy a wireless access point. So I went out and I bought a uh, uh, the Wi-Fi Unify APAC Pro, which um, uh, don't quote me on it, but I think it's up to 240 client devices can be connected any, any, at any given time without any degradation of Wi-Fi signal. This covered my whole household, which is a bungalow style four bedroom, two bath home, um, very well. Uh, the APAC Access Point Pro uh, I'm getting about a 70% signal on my Roku in the back bedroom, which is a master bedroom. It doesn't uh, affect uh, quality of service on that device at all, uh, but everything else in the central part of the house is uh, probably about 100%. So when you go back to the dashboard, it gives you a score, and I'm at 97%. 
and the nice thing about this unified dashboard is you can bring it right up on your phone from anywhere in the world and you can make changes now you can make real changes you, you actually have the insight to open ports close ports uh, do port forwarding that sort of thing so that's the uh, that's going to be a horrible there we go you might be able to see that if I can get it in there we go so that gives you sorry I shake um, that gives you quite a bit of information here and the ability to change all sorts of things so let's uh, see if we can focus on that again there we go so that's client stuff and um, there's other tabs and doohickeys that you can do right from your phone uh, and it's formatted great it's not just a um, minimalistic uh, form of the HTML here. I mean, it's an actual app. So, um, and that'll work with the uh, Dream Machine also, the Wi-Fi Dream Machine. This thing um, did a great job. And I only owned it about a week and a half before I went ahead and said, I'm going to buy the Pro. And uh, hooked up the Pro. It took me about roughly an hour uh, to get everything actually up and working because the system didn't actually uh, find my modem first and then it was having trouble finding the wireless access point. So after I rebooted everything again after about 20 minutes it went through its initial setup again and did a great job of finding everything and doing the setup. There are some uh, differences in the software between well probably the hardware between the pro version and the dream machine when I would go into uh, internet protection here it um, I could block countries like I said now if I want to block Mexico and it's probably difficult to see on this screen but I have a window up that says block clearly when I click on block, it just pops up, moves up, and literally doesn't block anything. I have to take a next step and look at my traffic log and then block the IP address uh, specifically from the uh, traffic log, which blacklist, it gives the option of suppressing blacklist, whitelist, or block. And uh, which is probably better in the long run to block the IP address as opposed to the country. Um, but it's nice to be able to just come here and go, bink, you're blocked. You're blocked, Mexico. What more do you want to know? You were trying to get into my crap. You're blocked. But you can't do it on the UDM Pro. Um, li there's little differences in the way the software actually works. Hotspot 2.0 is in beta version and is available on the Dream Machine but not available on the Pro version. So while we're talking about this versus the Pro, um, the other issue that I have with uh, the UDM Pro is it's a well-made box. It's a great box. It has a uh, space to put in your own hard drive which I put a two terabyte hard drive in it and it gives you the ability to run the network software, which is what you see here, uh, Unify Protect, Unify Talk, and Unify Access, I think, are the three. Let's have a look at that. You have network uh, system running, and you can do check for updates right from here. And you have Protect, Access, and Talk. Okay. So the whole camera, the Unify camera system is going away. They're dropping support for that. And they're rolling all of that into this new application called Protect. And uh, you can install this as long as you have your hard drive in there. Pretty much all this stuff, Protect, Access, Talk, all depend on PoE, Power Over Ethernet. There's no PoE switch in this. It has a port switch, high-speed switch, and it has no PoE capability. I wish that Unify had done a pro version 
of the unified dream machine with the gateway and the VPN and all of that great stuff built into it with an eight port PoE switch in it for maybe $100 more. I mean, that box and this box are sub $300. So why not build the PoE into both of them maybe? Charge $325 for this, charge $375, $400 for the Pro version with the 8-port PoE in it, and then you could just plug your, your, your PoE devices right into it. Uh, I don't, well, I do understand why they did it. They want to sell you a professional version of PoE switch. But um, to, to have the starter kit with a UDM Pro would have been really nice. And then I would have certainly gone out and purchased a uh, 6 to 8 to 16 port PoE switch, Ubiquity PoE switch, um, as I added devices on. So um, that's... Uh, bottom line on that box is it's in my opinion a Soho device small office home office device this is a home device or home office device but if you want to jump into a um, small business SMB um, that that pro version falls short of that in my opinion is it going to stay there? Yes, it's going to stay there. I'll probably end up selling this and keep that um, as I migrate out my Arlo Pro cameras and pick up some of the uh, Ubiquiti cameras, um, which only run with Protect, by the way. You, it, it doesn't doesn't pick up any other cameras. So if you have this device, you have to buy the Ubiquiti cameras to work with it, G3s, whatever. Uh, I do have a Synology box back here. I have a, a Synology NAS DS918 Plus, and that has the camera software that you can install on that also and run, um, I think it's a license for four cameras. My dog's coming in the room. Um, for four cameras on that, again, don't quote me on it, it could be two, two on the license and then you buy it in packs. Um, with the Ubiquity stuff, the Unify stuff, that's open source software. So you can run as many of their cameras on that system as your bandwidth will allow, um, as long as you're willing to pony up a little bit more expensive money on the cameras. Dog, you're making a lot of noise. Don't, don't smile at me and wag your tail. So anyway, that's my um, uh, quick versus video on this. Um, I really like this if you're a regular homeowner. This is really quick to set up, easy to set up. And it, it works really well with um, a Synology VPN and port forwarding and UPnP, that sort of thing. Um, which is plug and play basically in the network world. Um, runs great. That box took a little more time to get configured. It's more of a prosumer version of um, setup on it. But all in all, I, I like the box. It, it's staying. I'm going to go ahead and buy a PoE switch and plug it in. And that way I'll be able to start powering this stuff. Um, that's the bottom line on it. Now, real quick, um, I said I was going to kill off my channel, and, I, and that was purely out of frustration. I do these videos, and I buy this stuff out of pocket. If you watch any of my videos, I say I buy this stuff out of pocket. I get 25, 300 views, 400 views, which I'm thankful for. Um, somebody else does it, and they're... they're within a day there are a million views on the same stuff. Now I know they go a little more in depth into uh, the technical part of all this stuff. A general viewpoint on the device from 20 plus years of IT experience. It's my general perception. If you want a, a low form factor, um, really good penetration of Wi-Fi signal in your home and it's not a huge home, grab this. They do have extensions, um, Wi-Fi extenders that'll work well with this. 
if you decide that you, have, you, need, you need coverage in smaller areas of your house that aren't reaching. Uh, of course, with that, you can run an antenna anywhere by PoE, the uh, proversion. So uh, my general perception of the device, and uh, you can watch the other videos that people are getting millions of views on to see the technical details of it. I am going to keep the channel open and I will be doing videos. I have a studio monitor that you probably noticed me turning my head back to to see if I'm in frame and what's going on. Uh, I am getting a couple studio LED lights, so my lighting quality will be better. And right above here, I am going to be mounting a arm off the wall, this wall here behind the monitor, and I'm buying a second Sony it's going to probably be the new vlogging camera that they have with the fixed lens. And I'm going to mount it directly down so I can do unboxing videos right in this area. Um, investing a little bit more money now in the uh, home office studio. I've been using this as a studio lamp. <laughs> <laughs> and it works horribly. So I have bought some uh, LED loom panels and uh, they're going to be mounted in different places. One will probably be mounted up under the shelf here. Um, thank you for watching. Again, I don't make any money. I don't monetize my channel. Um, I buy all this crap out of pocket. So uh, I'm doing it for the likes and uh, positive comments. Um, I've said it before, very seldom do I get negative comments, but if I do, I am deleting them. I don't like that stuff. I like being around upbeat people. I like having a um, educated discussion about things. And if you want to leave a comment below that's a positive comment and a question about something, I, I do look at the uh, comments. Monday we had a hurricane come into Delaware and probably four to five, three to five um, tornadoes pushed ahead of it and uh, did a lot of really heavy duty destruction uh, to uh, streets that I'm on every day, houses that I'm by every day and friends, houses that um, are damaged considerably because of these tornadoes. We're not used to tornadoes in Delaware. So um, keeping those people in my thoughts. Have a great day. Be safe and uh, stay happy.